What's up, y'all? Welcome to Nermo Tiles Outdoors. I'm Micaiah, and today we're gonna be dropping a floor in my, my John boat here. So we just got this thing painted up. It's looking real good, but um, any of y'all that fish in aluminum boats, you know, you've got like the ribs in the floor. It's all sloped, and um, you know, it's really easy. It's nice because it's tough, but um, you know, these ribs you can slide around. Uh, holds water. You know, whenever it rains, you got some water in between those um little kill uh, lines down there so anyways we're gonna put in a rubber floor this is probably the easiest floor option you could possibly do on a boat so anyways y'all we're gonna get this in here check this out all right so the first thing to do as you guys notice we've got these ribs here if we want this level we gotta have some way to run over the top of the ribs now the way i'm gonna do this floor is it's gonna be rubber um just solid rubber tread plate whole way but first we got to level off these things you run the rubber over the top so to do that i'm using this stuff that's called um closed cell insulation board it's a foam but um it's waterproof so you can see the water just kind of runs off of it max 0.1 percent water absorption so what that does is one that gives you some extra flotation which helps in the boat it's super light i mean these pieces don't weigh anything and it's real real hard um I mean, in comparison for styrofoam, right? It's still styrofoam, but it's much tougher than your normal styrofoam just because it's closed cell. So anyways, um, this stuff you can get it by like four by eight sheets at Lowe's or Home Depot, any of your places like that. And they're like 10 to $20 a sheet, depending on where you're getting. So anyways, um, I've got half inch here. I believe, yeah, it's half inch. So some of these, you notice, they're already cut. They're looking a little dirty. I actually had a mat, um, the same setup in here before. Um, I'm just redoing it because we just painted it and we're redoing everything on the boat. So anyways, I'm going to be using some of these same foam sheets because they've been in the boat for years. As you can tell, they're a little dirty, but um, still completely dry, solid, good to go. <laughs> All right, so what I'm doing with these is just measuring them out to fit these sections um, between the ribs, the paneling here. So, and uh, it's half inch. These ribs are right at an inch tall. So I just have to double stack the sheets basically to get them fit in there. So super simple. Uh, let me see, which one did I cut this out for? Some of these are already done. Sign this out real quick. So I believe this is my back seat. Yes, so we're gonna just go ahead and slide that the seat there and all you do once it's cut in position is slide it in place just like that and uh we'll grab one of these other ones here in the same spot there so on top here and just, just kind of wiggle it in now the second one because the boat is curved can be a little bit tight getting them in so i'm probably gonna need both hands for this but i'm gonna kind of one in there just like that all right so we got that secured there now um let's get the, all these other ones in and then i'll show you i do have to cut a couple for this front here so i'll show you how to cut them and do all that in a second all right so i've got all of these old ones in here and you can see that takes us pretty much flush with these ribs here so anyways we've got all these old ones in so now i need to cut two more sections for this front area here because I'm gonna rerun in that floor all the way up to that, under that front deck. So this is really, really convenient because these are four foot long, you know, uh, four foot wide sheets, 48 inches. This is a 1448 John boat, which is also, um, this happen to be your most common size. So that's 48 inches across the bottom here, which means it's super easy. All I have to do is just cut the width and it's already, or cut the length, you know, the section there and it's already the right length to run across there. Now, if you have a smaller boat, like a you know, 1436 or a 1440, you're gonna have to trim down the edges some. But I'll show you how to cut this. It's so, so easy. All you really have to do is get your width measurement right there. You know how wide it is between your ribs. So this run section right is 10 inches for this first part here. And now with my other section up here, I have just a little under 15 inches or just a little over 15. So I need a 10 inch wide section here and a 15 inch wide section here. So I'm gonna, all right, so what I need to do is just go 10 inches along here, right with the width, and then I'll use just a regular, you know, utility knife, a little razor blade, and um, make a cut on each end, just right through the 
styrofoam, just like that. You can cut it just with a knife. I mean, it's that simple. And do the same thing on the opposite side here. All right, so we get it started. And then I'm just gonna run my tape measure all the way straight across to make sure I've got a straight line. And then um, just work my way right through this foam board just with the knife, just like that. Now nobody's gonna see this under your mat, so you don't have to have it 100% perfect, it's pretty close. So I got it most of the way through with the first cut there, and I'm just kinda gonna separate it, run the rest of the way through, just kinda bend it and cut. All right, there we go. So it's that easy, guys. We got a nice, beautifully cut piece there. Gives you a nice, clean edge. I mean, all of this is a little razor blade. And uh, we'll just drop this in here. Fits perfectly. Bend it down into place. So anyways, now we got our measurement. All we're gonna do is use this same board here and uh, use it to copy our next one. So we got this board here. Gonna just stack it on top of our sheet. Throw our pieces there. And, uh, get that thing lined up. So we're gonna line it up with the old one. Right on the lines there. Same thing over on this side. We'll meet them up at the top. Now we've got that there as our guide. Because we know this piece fits in, we need it double thick because we got an inch on the ribs, and this is only half inch thick. So All right, so that fits in that section perfectly. So I'm just gonna do the same thing and cut my little piece for the top here. Alrighty, well now we got these front ones in here. Um, this top one needed a little bit of custom trimming because it is just so tight. Sorry, you guys are probably dizzy now. Right up here in this corner. Um, just the way the boat tapers down a little bit in the front. So that one needed a little bit of trimming and I actually have one sheet on top but I took kind of like a shimmed um, on the bottom there just to give us some sport right there in the middle where it did need the full two inches so or the full inch So anyways, so we get going on now for the rubber So yes, it's so easy. I got this roll of um, Eighth inch It's pretty heavy stuff um, Eighth inch rubber like a floor mat With this diamond tread plate, which um, actually is really great to walk on. This is what I had in here before and uh not like super super heavy but strong enough i got it from um vaver Viver. i don't know how you say it they're on ebay i think they're on amazon too i think this is a i don't remember if this is a 12 foot or a 15 foot roll but either way longer than i need this 14 foot boat it's about about 12 feet running there and i got it on ebay it was like 60 bucks for this whole roll so anyways real affordable heavy duty um get a walk on so anyways I'll show you how you would put this in here super simple we got it in here, spread it out a little so it's not all twisted, and then we're just going to kind of unroll it there. We're just going to work on unrolling it and uh, running it under these seats. So, pull out a little bit of time, I'm just going to pull it back, try to force it down under there. Straighten that out here. Still got plenty of the mat up here in the front. And then now I've got it back behind this seat. So I'm just gonna slide it on through the best I can. Just have to kind of unroll it. Push it through a little bit at a time. Just make sure these foam boards are in place when you get it there back under this seat so same deal I'm just gonna unfold it push it on through this back bench okay 
so we got most way through. I'm just gonna pull it along the back there. All right, so gotta run most of the way across here. And I'm gonna roll up this section all the way up to the top here. Must have been 12 foot because it is the perfect length. I'm just gonna kind of push it up in here. So you all right, to get it to fit right up in this top corner, just because it does taper down, I do have to trim up the corner just a little bit to be able to tuck it all the way up the middle there. So, same thing. This whole job you can literally just do with a razor knife. This thing will cut through to get started pretty easily. And just round it off there. The mat. So, this was a 12-foot um, roll. They've got a variety of different sizes you can get it from, depending on how long your boat is. But... 12 foot just happens to be pretty much the perfect length. All right, so we got the front trimmed up and tucked under that uh, front deck there. So just tucked it up underneath where it'll be out of the way. And then see the front, the back midsection lays out pretty nice. Um, one thing I'll show you guys is you can see up here in the front, especially. It comes up over the ribs on the sides a little bit. Like you see, it bends up here just because the taper, you know, is a little bit less than 48 inches in the front. So it runs up the sides a little bit. You could trim that. You could cut out a little um, cut for the ribs here. Personally, I think I'm going to leave it because I like the way it um, just protects the edges of the ribs more and just makes it like a, like a more um, enclosed deck. Like, you know, gives you a little bit more protection. Um, on the back here, you see it lines up pretty much evenly, just a tiny bit of overlap on the edges, which is fine. Um, you do have a little bit of space on the sides here. That's just, you're stuck with that. It's really not a problem um, using it. Most of your decks are really good, solid, smooth, level, all that. So anyways, on the back here, uh, we did have a little bit of extra length. Now, you could, if you wanted to look right, just cut it smooth on the back of the ribs here. What I'm actually gonna do is I'm just gonna cut a slot right through where these um, transom brackets are. Just go right through there where I can slide it and basically just leave it laying out over here. Give me a little bit more protection in the back. I cut it here so I don't cut into my metal. All right, just cut it up here. I'm just gonna just kind of slide that over it, just like that. You see how it kind of fit in there. Real nice and smooth. So I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side here. It's that simple. What we're left with now is a very solid, durable, level, quiet floor. One thing you don't think of, you're fishing, you can sit the side of a metal boat, it's loud. Even the sides now, though, this dampens with the foam and the rubber, it dampens the whole thing. So you're looking way, way quieter. It does add some weight. The mat, I think, is about 40 pounds. But, I mean, 40 pounds is 40 pounds. So it's not that much. So we got a nice, smooth deck running up into the front here. We got a little bit of curvature up in the very, very front. Um, like you can see, there's a little bit of a bubble here where that new foam just still has some bend but that breaks down pretty quickly as you're walking on it even though you see we put some weight on it that disappears so as you walk on it as you use it that levels out really well um i said i did replace the old one so the old one was four years old and uh was all ripping the rubber but um it had been in great shape until just a few months before that um i had spilled like some motor oil all over it and they just never cleaned it up i left it out there in the sun for like four months covered in oil and so the oil broke down um, or the oil mixed with the uv rays broke down the rubber and did cause it to get brittle but, but until then before that held up really really well um i really like it so anyways you guys saw how simple that was i mean literally the only tool was a just standard utility knife and the whole job took me maybe 20 minutes maybe 30 if we're being generous since i did have the other ones pre-cut but anyways, that's that, guys. If you guys want super, super easy um, flooring option for your John boat, um, and probably, I mean, you're talking about if you do like a plywood floor, any kind of floor is going to be heavier than that um, and maybe not look as good. So I don't know what you guys think. I, I like it. I like the way it looks. So anyways, that tread plate, just pretty to me. But anyways, that's it, guys. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Uh, maybe interesting uh, if you're looking at modding your boat um, Let me know drop it in the comments if you're doing um, a job, you know, you're looking for your boat trying to set up your stuff What do you have? What are you using it for? Uh, how long you had it? Let's give me a little bit of a history on your boats because that's something I always just love All aluminum boats are just man. They're the best. So anyways y'all appreciate it Thank you for watching. I hope you check out some of the other stuff on my channel and I hope to see you again soon. Bye guys